All right, where do we start? So, Blade Show Atlanta was a mind-blowing experience. Everybody was saying how busy it was. I don't think there was that many people, although I was there early Saturday and Sunday. I skipped Friday this year, but I heard Friday was insane. But I'm not really there. I wasn't really there for knives, per se. I was there for... More like meeting the people, and I feel that I don't really understand why reviewers, I don't consider myself a reviewer, but why reviewers go to the same booths all the time. Um, those are the easiest knives to get a hold of. Those are the easiest knives to get information about. I want to know about odd, beautiful knives. I've never heard of these guys, and I saved up, obviously, for a long time for Blade Show, and... Got a couple grails, traded a couple grails, I had doubles of, found a couple amazing things, had some things made for me, got some stuff free. Um, huge surprises, replacements, gifts. Stuff I made myself to enhance the Kydex. More free stuff. I misplaced my uh, my dice I got from Blade HQ. They said I won, you know, randomly won some cute little dice with the uh, the sprinkles and the donut theme. Love this guy. Getting into coins, but. Man, some of those coins, like the Murphyone coin, was like $75. Like, no, no, that's this knife. Okay, I'm going to set up this camera, and I don't really consider myself an editor, so I'm just going to slap it in here, and a uh, reviewer, I'm not even sure if I'm going to edit this. I don't really care. I don't think anybody that knows me expects anything really from me. Watch the little bees blades. That was awesome hanging out with you guys. All right, let's start this out. Got that free. Got this free because of my tattoo. If you don't know, I got the Demco tattoo, uh, 80 20.5 in titanium. Got this for free. Sitting in a really cool restaurant eating the, the most disgusting bone and pork chop and they called it risotto. I don't know what the, the hell it was. Um, and a super nice guy came up to me or was sitting next to me, saw I was not enjoying my food and wanted to put a smile on my face. So he got and gave me this amazing, look at this, amazing Hank for free. And... You know, little did he know, I had a whole bunch of stuff that will go with this. Got this for free, and I, for some reason, couldn't remember where I remember the logo from. It's my, um, let's see if I have it right here. My Little Mermaid, and I don't have it. I think I have it here. It must be dirty. I must have used it. But it's the, uh, I got the Mermaid from Blade HQ, which was awesome. This was free. I mean, such high quality. This is definitely made for knives. This is like a wool, and this is like a soft, oof, really soft, maybe a microfiber. I don't know. I, got, I know I got one that was suede, not this one. But those are amazing. Thanks, guys. Uh, I forgot his name. Rick, I think it was. I'll try to find his card and tag him. Uh, Koenig shirt. They were having, oh, my God, a raffle for a one single knife that was i think it went for six and a half grand yeah um probably never do that let's see you got the dumco shirt the koenig shirt i got me a protect shirt i don't know if you guys know but this is a great story i uh have to find the protect that goes with the story first I wonder where that is. There it is. So, I was at a Super Bowl party, showing off my new knife, 
and I'm trying not to exaggerate, probably like 10 people were around me, and my sister-in-law was right here next to me, bending over to look at it. I flick it open, boom, it literally cracked right here, flew into a dip, and yeah, it wasn't far, it was like, I don't know, a foot, two feet. Three feet away, but my sister-in-law was leaning in to see it, and it went, you know, it didn't fly anywhere, but, it, you know, exaggeration. I'm trying not to exaggerate. It flew into the dip, ranch dip right next to her. Anyways, got a hold of ProTech. They said send it in. They had really a hard time believing it because, honestly, I do too, but I was there. It's honestly 100% true. Um, so Derek and I met Jessica this year such i mean the customer service is beyond so i sent it in and they were like i don't believe you i don't believe you you're crazy you're nuts sent them the blade everything they saw the micro chip where there was like a little tiny bit of um rust it was i couldn't stand it anyways hair bone herring bone like little ta oh, it was disgusting anyway so derek and jessica had the frame of mind to ask me to if they could change the Damascus and I mean look at the Damascus it is I mean they never really told me I think it's raindrop but they changed the Damascus for me which is so much better so much better I only bought it because it was new you know I am guys um Alexa stop sorry doing laundry timer oh and so derek and jessica i met derek i never met derek i met jessica this year and every year i go up, up to protech and i said hey david he wants to say hi she wants to say hi and he grabs her he goes oh i remember you flicks her a couple times gives it back and says thanks rocky that's it so we're making a tradition but derek went in and took the liberty to change the the pocket clip to match the bronze now i've carried this so much you can see the patina it's beautiful but uh that's the original so it matches pretty damn close and it's titanium so david told me this is technically one of one because they are the ones who did all the repairs to the blade and switched this and it's all pro tech it's not like you know secondary market so it says one of one now awesome but just wanted to give you that story because every year this is going to go with me no matter what goes with me this knife is going with me every year let's see what else met some amazing people met uh beard of doom that was awesome he uh we try to talk all the time finally met kevin uh, from Lefty EDC, that was awesome. He's taller than I thought. He's six one. I'm barely five eleven. Um, met some amazing people. So much fun. Again, I'm not really a reviewer. I'm just showing off what I got because I might have gone a little crazy. Uh, all right, let's do nine knives first. So freebies. Love it, appreciate it. I got your knife already. I'm looking at the, that new one with the the tri or the the triangle uh, pivot. Got a couple coins. Love this one. There it is. There it is. Okay. Got a couple of these for gifts and stuff. Awesome. Let's see what else. Um, I was washing my Spyderco Scotch glass, and I guess I could just show you. It's right here. And got a crack. You can see it right there. It's such a little crack. But now this totally leaks. So this is for display. This is going to be my. My, all my rings, I guess, apparently, and some makers. But because of that, I had to get a new one. Love this thing. All right, now that's first, right? Okay, more gifts. 
This one and this one, I love them. I mean, how cool is that? Love the colors. Those are awesome. All right, let's see. I think that's everything non-knives. All right, let's go from this one. Got this from a really nice guy. Chef that was working some uh, at a chef table. And I was wearing my chef jacket because so people could recognize me. And he gave me this, which was super nice. So I guess it's San Mai with three layers. And uh, there's the metal, the steel. It is surprisingly, surprisingly sharp. So I don't know. I guess you're cutting on the, I don't know. I tried it for a minute or two. Not really my style, but it is very sharp. Um, it's a little high for control, but as long as you do probably just vegetables, I wouldn't be pounding through uh, carcasses or anything like that with this thing. But um, I'm going to give it a try in the kitchen. I'm going to give it a legit try and then give it a review and then give it away. Uh, my kitchen knives are far beyond this, obviously, but... I don't let the price affect my my review because I will review kitchen knives. That's where I consider myself more of an expert. I'm not really an expert in the packet knives. I know a lot, but I've only been collecting for a few years, so I don't really consider myself a reviewer. Um, okay, so let's see. Beard of Doom led me this way, and... I don't really buy budget knives too much. I think the last budget knife I bought was uh, my Sea Snake. But um, this thing is uh, amazing. Like, I was absolutely thrown for a loop. Now, look at this thing. I mean, it's huge. The, look at the lines. So it does go out a little bit. So this is like uh, more of a Japanese tanto, I would say, because it doesn't have the tip right here as much. But look how it bows down a little bit towards the belly right here and then curves up. I like the pinch grip. It falls right there. There is jimping. It's not aggressive, but it goes all the way down here. So you can like, you can actually come down here and reach out and touch someone. You can come down in here and get all fine with it. Pinch grip. The action is ridiculous. Guess how much? Uh, if anybody knows me, they know I don't really buy budget knives, but this thing is 30 bucks, what? I don't even have to shake it. I'm just like literally moving a little. And if you just throw it, boom. Can we do the snake bite? Let's see. Snake bite. Snake bite. But yeah, 30 bucks, dude. Um, look at the, okay, so the grip here is amazing on both sides, right? I mean, it, it was not going to leave your hands. Down here... Which is, is what you kind of don't expect, right? You don't expect like milling and then it just oop, hit, and then it just stops, right? Jimping down here to like get extra grip down here. I mean, thirty dollars. So this is gonna be my new workhorse. I, don't, I was gonna give it away. I was gonna be like, oh, I'll give it some pocket time and I'll just give it away to someone. But literally, I think this is gonna be my new workhorse. Like if I'm at home, I need to go to the garden. I need to go to the garage. Blah blah blah. Boom. Pretty much close to deep pocket, little mushrooms, but that's okay. It's not so deep, but I mean, like, I think full all the way up here is a little bit too much because it's sometimes you kind of reach for it. With this, you kind of like, boom, you kind of reach right there and you pull it out. So there's a little bit to grab, but 
I was totally blown away, dude. Like, super sharp. Now, granted, the guy might have gone through all these and sharpened them for the show just to, like, impress everything. Look at that. The axis, not only does the bar have a little bit of curve, but it's also a little curve here. Something you don't really get from $30 knives, right? Super easy access. This is even, this is even crowned. Doesn't even have sharp edges. I'm spending this much time on a $30 knife, y'all. And I'm not a reviewer, like I said. That's so impressive. Oh, and you could see through that little hole right there. I thought that was pretty cool. Right? A new little feature. All right. I should have probably taken a video before I took the Sharpie to it. This thing is absolutely ridiculous. Probably the sharpest knife I purchased at Blade Show. 60 bucks. I mean, the Pony Stout beautiful color it looks like it's already getting you know worn in it looks like a uh, blue jeans like denim uh denim my kind of eh. this one's a little dressed up but it will i think i think it's gonna get like frayed and like i'm excited to see this one after a while i'm definitely gonna get the upgraded one too but we all know that i already have six devo anyways so this one, I did a little work on it myself. So, I got it from, from Devo for an undisclosed amount, but it was it's super dull. And the green micarta, I mean, it's not their fault. It's not, you know, it's the industry's fault. The green micarta looks like, I wonder if I have an example somewhere. Kind of like my Jack Wolf a little bit, how it's like darkened. Where is it? I don't know. I have a short if you wanted to check it out. I took a before and after. I did a one set, one half, and one not one and a half. So I kind of just did carefully a little bit of Sharpie. And just from the outside, did dark and then colored in the inside. Did the cross stitch pattern so you couldn't really tell. And I mean, this green is exactly what I want. Look at this green. It's perfect green color for me and with the gold accents yeah i'm totally digging this i just need to sharpen it up i think it was a prototype i'm not really sure don't even know the name Didn't get this at the show, but I got it right before. Um, loving it. I think there's a little bit too much gold in this right here on this side and a little not enough on this side, which would have been nice to like get a nice even. But that's literally my only complaint. The blade is awesome. The shape is awesome. It's ridiculously light. I mean, stew like it's got to be two inch, two ounces. Uh, Magna Cut, I believe. Yeah, I love it. Comes in this totally awesome pouch. Oh, wrong one. Just kidding. I thought that came in. I always get confused because this is my first Hogue, I believe. I think it's my first Hogue. And I believe this is my first. This is the one I was talking about. It's so awesome. My first. I think it's my first Kaiser. I don't know. Whatever. The Nebula. I didn't get this at the show either, but I got this at through uh, Blue Creek. They're going out of business. Sorry, brother, to hear all the bad news for the industry, but good news for your family is what I hear. Good luck with your future endeavors. This thing, I, I honestly, I just got it because it was on a big discount. I think it was like 45% off. Um, and it was the only one that was interesting to me on the website. I think it was, you know, it was a little late. But you can hear a little bit. It's obviously everybody expects it with button locks like this. 
it's very minimal. I mean, it's nothing like in a stick or anything, but yeah, and now it's not there. So whatever. The pouch is uh, like if people made pouches like this in that gigantic, huge pouches like this, I would carry knives in the pouch all the time. Then, for instance, I'm just gonna skip ahead here. I'm thinking about taking my new neck knife. This thing is sharp in the scalpel. And taking this logo off to use it for this knife. Now, I'm not trying to rip on any YouTube reviewers. Their job is to review knives that the public would want, right? I understand that. But I was very disappointed. And all the, you know, there's a lot of videos still to come, obviously. Um, but it seemed like everybody ran to all the popular booths, right? Um, and, I mean, I already have knives from... I would say 95% of the places that everybody visited already, right? I mean, I've got, everybody's got ProTech, everybody's got, you know, I got the W, I got I know, six or seven Devos. Um, oh, new one, Skeleton, Jim Skeleton. I was very, very on the fence, like just extremely on the fence about this thing. I don't know. I don't know. Looks like a peanut, you know, like a maybe like an old school canoe or you know, like a case canoe or peanut or you know, like bone. And I don't like any of those old school anything. Uh, I think I'm gonna have this personally anodized. I'm absolutely loving the weight, the action, the symbol here, everything, the access to the look at the little. There's like actually like beautiful jimping that's in different directions so no matter how you hold deep high mid i'm sure you could yep it feels really good grabbing it lefty um yeah oh that's impressive on lefty i think I, I, just, I think naturally you if you're lefty you fall off this you learn to fall off the lock anyway so Look at that. Beautiful. The clip, I'm a little thrown about the clip. Now, the clip looks awesome, works great, right? But when you have the middle clip, you have this extra quarter inch, half inch, whatever. So why not lift this up to this screw? I'm sure Jim's thought of this. He's been in the game for 10 times longer than I have. But just throwing it out there, it's not bad it's just it could have been way up here and maybe even in the corner and maybe even tilted a little bit to get it way up here and then shared a screw now granted that might not be that much if you look at it but i mean that is a good quarter inch right so just you know future love the hidden lanyard uh i do make lanyards um not so much lately for a single knife but I made this out of suede the original wonder nut gave this to me and I am smitten I love it look at the file work this was uh, recycled from a car painting factory so every layer is a car that was painted and they just Take it off and smooth it out. There's some greens in there, which is like my favorite color. Love it. Amazing sheath. I made a cool necklace with cool clasp. You don't really need to take this off, but you can. Uh, it, it stretches a lot because it is suede. Uh... Didn't get this at the show, but I got it while I was at the show. It was waiting for me at home. 
Sharp by Design EVO Mini. Uh, I have ginormous hands and this thing goes end to end. So I don't know how you can call it a Mini, right? Just like my FSD Mini. But this thing is stupid sharp. Ridiculous. I love the color. The make is just, I mean, exactly what I thought when I heard about Sharp Eye Design. Everything is just dialed in beautifully. The action, the detent. You can hear the... I don't think I've failed it once. Um, you don't even need to light switch it you can just like literally push it down and it'll work uh, not a big fan I love how it looks I love the colors I love the I don't forget what this is called bazooka no that's uh, wolf knives I love it it's just this is just way too smooth and I mean people I hear people complain about smooth titanium all the time this is the most smooth titanium I've ever felt and I'm not sure if I like it, I'm bringing this with me to trade. This is this is a long video, but this is all the stuff I got, and I think it did a great job as far as not spending too much money. Had to get this. Just had to add it to my collection. I have three now. But this is the non-locking, I mean, this is the non-slip joint. You can see there. What's so cool is you can take this out and put a little green tab right there. And I'm just kind of confused why you just didn't make two, right? So you could flip the sides. Because the bolster lock, no, everybody can use it, right? Because it goes so far up, you don't have to worry about being a lefty. And then, if you had one in this side, and they gave you one, you could have, it would look more universal, and I'm really on the fence if I want to take it out. Because I saw how it takes out, takes it out, and it's actually the same color. And it looks really cool with that little, right there, green. He said it did this to make it look like more like his slips, which is great. I loved it. The action is sick. And Kevin was mentioning that it makes a noise when you close it, because if you push with your index and unlock, it makes that click. Front flipper, awesome. That's Rosie, my guard dog. Okay, so got that. And I think this is the last one, huh? Look at that. The milling switches up here. It's deep here, so it like grips. And it's smooth here. And grippy again out here. Look at the detail. I love the floating spacer. There's like four boxes right there. Rosie, enough, please. Good girl. Now, here's the thing. Action's awesome. You can spidey, you can, I mean, sorry, index finger, you can thumb, you can do it all, right? The only thing is, I think it's gorgeous. Oh, and the, just, this is good enough for a fidget toy, just feeling it like this. Look at the colors, right? Beautiful. But it's like almost non-existent in the pocket. It's hard to get past that little lip. But look how cool it is. I don't even care. Literally, I'm not even going to put it in my pocket. I think I'm going to try to 
take this off and put it in this slip and just carry it like a queen. This is my, this is a queen. This is my first full custom. Um, I was blown away and not familiar with these guys. Uh, I didn't want to get a grail from Protech or, you know, a well-known place. I wanted to get something that no one really knew of and something original. And I freaking love this thing. I mean, everything. Up, and look at the inside. Even the inside, it's not only like mil, like taken out material, but it's also, look, you can see it right there, milling inside for even more weight reduction. I'm trying to get the light right now. Yep, there it is. Now you can really see it. Look at that. Even in the... Man, it's just so well done. It's light, too. It's a lot lighter than I thought. So, I think that's it. Oh, wait, nope. Got my first... Well, not my first, I guess. I guess I got another... Uh, Strider PT, I believe it is. I don't even know what this one is. I literally just saw it, and I'm like, boom, that's going to be my first Strider. The Glow in the Dark is the one I wanted. This anodized titanium, I think it's... I don't know. I think it's torched? I don't know. It's so beautiful. Look at it. So these two... I'm going to take B-roll or maybe I'll just make another video in the sun to get these colors to pop and these colors to pop. All right. Love to you and you. Love to you and yours, guys. I'm just, uh, This thing is so beautiful. So my thumb, I was making fun of people because they're like, oh, my thumb hurts so bad from the weekend. I mean, you guys are wusses. You seriously? What the hell? A uh, five and a half hour drive home, and this was in my hand the whole time, flicking it, playing with it. My thumb is not only my th tip of my thumb is killing me, but I have arthritis, and I have the worst pain right here. And I am just like steadily putting arthritis cream and CBD cream on here. Um, yeah, super happy with this pull. Um, all right, love to you and yours, guys. I'm out.